hello over there I hope you all are doing well so in this video I'm going to show you a Linux program called game conqueror you can you can get it from uh, like the gnome software center you can get it from website or whatever and you can use it to hack pretty much any game which contains a value like coin money gold silver fuel or whatever uh, any offline game which contains a variable like this you can hack the game with this software so this software is pretty straightforward and easy like if you have ever used the cheat engine for windows or if you have used the use the uh, oh i forget the name of the software oh yeah game guardian on android device then you can pretty much use it but in this video i'm going to show you a demonstration of how this software works which is pretty easy so for the demonstration i'm going to use a game called 2048 this is a pretty basic game like a mathematical game okay here is my game let me reset this okay here you can see my score is zero uh, wait let me make some score okay i have a score four and i'm going to hack this score to something like something more in interesting okay so what you have to do you have to launch game conqueror and here we go to the select uh, processor selection it says no process selected so we have to select the processor which we want to hack so the process is 2048 i hope this is the name of the processor let's search for it 48 okay here you see this is the gnome 2048 this is the name of my software i'm going to hack okay let's double click <coughs> i'm sorry okay so here we are into our hacking okay now what we have to hack is the number four our score is number four so we are going to search here for four but uh, as you see the four is an integer value this does not contain any any decimal point this does not contain any any like uh, the alphabetical character so we are simply going to use int like if your value contains a decimal point or a dot or something you can use float or for uh, here are other things too like string etc but i'm going to use an integer so here i have pressed 4 now let's hit search okay here's our progress mm. okay now here you see here nothing happened it just says found like 28,000 values but it shows us nothing because uh, we are we cannot find the value by ourselves like we cannot figure figure out the which one is our score like there are 28,000 values so it's just simply saying that you must refine your value like uh, you have to like apply some more filters to find the exact value you are searching for now what we have to do we have to have this value which is a 4 to change into something else okay let's change into something else okay here the value of 4 is now changed to change to 16 now we are going to hit the search again but one thing you have to keep in mind like if you want to know about uh, like some technical details that when the first time we search for 4 it is going to search in the game for the number 4 and there are too many results but now if we are going to search for 16 it is not going to search in the whole program like again it is not going to start the search from again it is going to search this value 16 in these results so we are refining our search now let's search again and it said it found 11 like uh, like from those 28,000 values there are some more same values named 16 now let's change into something again okay let's change into something else okay here our value is now 36 now let's search for 36 i hope it works or oh, not here let's 36 okay you can see here our values some are still 16 and here is our score value which was like previous previously it was 16 but it's now like 36 i'm just showing you let's hit the search again and here is the only one value remaining that matches this 36 in the whole game now let's right click on it and add to cheat list this is the value we are going to change now let's change into something else like uh, something more interesting like 420 
Damn, this sounds like an interesting value. Okay, now let's switch back to our game. Now, one thing I don't like is that uh, the value does not change immediately. You have to again change it to something else. Oh, don't worry, guys. Okay, here you see. Now, this is the magic. This is how the magic happens. It's as simple as this. And uh, keep in mind that you can also use it to hack offline games or you can use it to debug your programs like python to change values of variable pretty, mu pretty much like this i hope you like the video so bye bye for now